Yes, my husband left me. Yeah, well, he would have done. Yeah, younger woman, wasn't it? 49, yeah. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Matt Lucas moments. I gave her the money, but what she did was she put the flowers down and then she started kissing my hands. Good is good in the final hour, in the deepest pit, without hope, without witness. We're alone. Have you got the check? It's all here, darling. All the treatments, all the food, bed and board for the last five months. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the funniest and most iconic moments Matt Lucas has had throughout his career as himself or playing a character. Do you think we missed any? Let us know in the comments down below. Number 10. Reprising a beloved character after 10 years. The Big Nasty Show. Now, do I call you Big or Nasty or Big Nasty or what's your actual name? Rock. Probably Philip. We could never talk about Matt Lucas without mentioning some of his iconic Little Britain characters. The best known face on the show is undoubtedly that of Andy Pipkin, a middle-aged man in need of a wheelchair who very swiftly leaves it to perform outrageous stunts in the background whenever his friend Lou isn't looking. You see the guy in the wheelchair? Yes. Deeper guy, blood. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> However, when the show ended in 2007, fans were left starving for more of Andy's antics until Lucas decided to reprise the character during an appearance on The Big Nasty Show, teaching the presenter how to embody the essence of Andy. That one, oh, that one, that one, that one, that one, there. that one, and that one, and that one. But you can't ever look where you're pointing. Number nine, clapping back in a hilarious interview, Friday Night with Jonathan Ross. Is Obviously that... the penises were prosthetics, and thank you very much for letting us use yours as a as a cast. It is the mark of a great comedian to be hilarious in any appearance, be it in character or not. And this interview with Jonathan Ross is the best proof of just how naturally funny Matt Lucas can be. Appearing on the Friday Night Talk Show to promote the first season of Little Britain USA, Lucas and his co-star, David Williams, lose no time to make fun of Ross's mistakes and blunders. Like not getting the simple concept of the show. Yes, Jonathan, the characters are all in America. Are Lou, and, are Lou and Andy back? Lou and Andy are back, okay. they're on holiday. In America? Yeah, yes, it's all set in America, <coughs> so just if you it. ask each character <laughs> in America, the answer will be yes. But it's all in good faith when it's done in the name of good old British banter. You have to up your game, because we were on Conan O'Brien last night. <laughs> Jay Leno on Monday, you need to up your game. <laughs> Number eight, being the best sidekick, Bridesmaids. Viewers across the pond will probably know Lucas for his film performances. He famously played Tweedledee and Tweedledum in Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland and Alice Through the Looking Glass, as well as the iconic Gil in Bridesmaids alongside Rebel Wilson. So, the check? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's, yes. Because it's, it's a kind of like I know. needing it today yes, type sort of situation. Um, it's in that role that Lucas proves himself as an immensely versatile comedian, being able to play to American humour just as well as British. His chemistry on screen with Rebel Wilson was also so strong that the pair, who played siblings and roommates on screen, decided to move in together in real life and wreak havoc on their neighbours. We look a bit silly, don't Pathetic. we? Pathetic. Yeah. What? So we're actually going to live together alone. Without you. Number seven, not all reads from River Song's diary. Doctor Who. Now let me be right. Please don't let me be right. For one reason or another, when thinking about Doctor Who companions, we seem to forget poor old Nardol. This character was originally written as a one off comedic foil for the 2015 Christmas special, The Husbands of River Song. However, Lucas's performance was so well received amongst fans that Nardole became a full member of the gang in season 10 and one of the Doctor's best friends and confidants. Virtue is only virtue in extremis. This is what he believes. In the sixth episode of that season, Extremis, it's Nardole's last minute appearance just before the Doctor is about to execute Missy that causes him to change his mind and remember his humanity as Nardole reads from River Song's diary. Your missus wouldn't approve. How the hell did you get here? Number six, channeling his inner diva, Little Britain. My turn now, darling. <laughs> Oh, sorry darling, see you at dinner. Some of the best characters created by Lucas for Little Britain fall in the category of divas, like Dame Sally Markham and a few other characters we will discuss further down this list. 
For number 6, we have decided to pick Lucas's performance as Bubbles de Vere, the flamboyant diva who has found permanent residence at a wellness spa where she attempts to live off her image as one of the wealthiest guests while it becomes painfully clear she won't be able to pay the massive debts she has racked up. And yet you allow yourself to be alone in a room with a rather beautiful woman. That's very dangerous, don't you think? Whenever confronted with the matter of the bill, she turns to a charm and the art of seduction, which in Bubbles' book are reduced to stripping off all her clothes. Will you excuse me for a moment, please, Mr. Hutton? I'm a little bit on fire. Number five, even getting mugged can be a laugh. The Graham Norton Show. I gave her the money, but what she did was she put the flowers down and then she started kissing my hands. There is a distinct level of talent someone needs to have if they can say with a smile on their face that they have been mugged recently and turn it into a fun anecdote to tell on TV. Granted, the incident Matt Lucas was involved in might have been more similar to a comedy of errors than the typical mugging. And I saw the woman and I shoved her against the wall and I said, give me the phone. But still, turning from mugged to mugger, Lucas didn't sky away from telling this hilarious, albeit traumatizing, story on national TV, confirming to us all how charming of a comedian he is. As I ran away, I ran through a crowd of people who'd gathered, and all they saw was me shove an old woman up against the wall. <laughs> Say, give me the phone, give me the money. Number four, becoming an icon, Little Britain. Hi, Carl. Hi, um, okay. The diva of West Country, Vicky Pollard, has become an icon in her own right as a representation of early noughties chaff culture. Irreverent and outrageous, Vicky can't help but cause trouble wherever she goes. As annoying as she is hilarious, whenever she is challenged about her abhorrent behavior, Vicky will start rambling on about local gossip and utter her famous catchphrase, or catch monosyllables to be precise. New, but yeah, but new because what happened was. With Vicky, Lucas didn't only create a character, but the immortal poster child for inarticulate teens all around the UK. Can you come back in, please? Oh my god, this is well harassment! I'm gonna take this to the Court of European Rights! Number three, writing a hit single, Shooting Stars. Big potato changed my life. Big potato showed me the way. We all know how different British and American humour can be. However, there are some quirks about British television that would be impossible to explain to anyone across the pond. Would any of your foreign friends believe you if you told them that a song about a baked potato would become a national hit? Birthed as part of Lucas's role on the game show Shooting Stars, the baked potato song quickly became the equivalent of a viral sensation in the early noughties, and it was recently brought back by Matt Lucas and other West End stars to raise money for NHS frontline workers. Thank you, Baked Potato. Number two, addressing the nation, the Great British Bake Off. Oh, yes, well, that works, actually. I can, I can read, that, read that fine. Few other comedians have made such a spectacular entrance to a show like Matt Lucas did on his debut episode of the Great British Bake Off. You must bake in a tent, bake in a tent, but please don't bake in a tent. As the first episode of the 2020 series was delayed due to a Prime Minister address to the nation, the Bake Off team took the chance to make their own cake-themed spoof of Boris Johnson's confusing messaging, with Lucas perfectly impersonating the PM's speech and mannerisms. A, a, a Prue witty. Scone. Right. Um, uh, Professor Paul Hollywood. Scone. Right, but well, I hope that clears things up. We couldn't think of a more hilarious way to start off his presenting career on The Big Show. Number one, interviewing Elton John in character, comic relief. And he writes the lyrics and then you add the music. It, does it come quickly or do you find yourself staying up at night bashing one out? Interviewing a massive celebrity can be nerve-wracking even for the most skilled journalist. Add in doing it for millions of people to watch and doing it in character, and that's when it becomes a lifetime achievement, which Matt Lucas obviously knocked out of the park. 
Back in 2005, he was tasked with interviewing none other than Elton John. Did you let the manager make the decisions, or would you come down and pull someone off at half time? While dressed up in the shortest spandex suit you'll ever see, he played his Little Britain character, rural gay David Thomas, presenting the star with a series of innuendo questions and brilliantly maintaining a straight face. And you're always giving, aren't you? Give, give, give. But do you like to receive? <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.